How's it going everybody? I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about God of War Ragnarok, man. It comes out in a day. In a freaking day. Like I, I don't... Oh God, it's, it's so hard to keep waiting for this game. Like when you have so much anticipation, um, every game I'm playing is just like a throwaway title because it's like, yo, I just want to play. <laughs> I just want to play God of War Ragnarok so bad, you know. And uh, it's taken me everything in my power not to play through 2018 again. I actually just bought a PC, so... I thought about buying God of War on PC and playing it through um, just to get ready for Ragnarok. But, dude, I, I'm, just, I'm just ready for, for the, new, the new title, man. I'm ready for the new release. And uh, I'm assuming that's why you guys are here. So, however you found us, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, or TikTok, thank you for coming to this video. Would you mind leaving a like and subbing to the channel for way more gaming content? I know I've, it's been a little lackluster in the gaming department here lately. Um, I've just uh, My passion is film and movies and TV shows. And I try to sprinkle in a little bit of gaming. That way it doesn't F up my algorithm too bad on here. Um, but yeah, so but we're here uh, strong with a uh, gaming video today. And just to let you guys know, we are planning to do a full-on episode of God of War Ragnarok, our initial thoughts and reaction to the first uh, five to ten hours of the game uh, this weekend. November 12th. Uh, November 12th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Me and Jan are going to get on the stream, and we are going to talk about our initial thoughts, reactions to the first few hours of the game, if not more, with some maybe a little bit of light spoilers here and there. So if you'd like to hear our thoughts and opinions, you just want to come over and talk God of War Ragnarok with us, uh, you can find us on here, you can find us on our Facebook fan page, you can find us on Twitter at Deadhead96 Podcast, well, Deadhead Podcast, excuse me. Let me, let me, let me fix that. Deadhead Podcast Twitter page, just type in the search bar, you'll find us. And you can watch us on there as well. And we will be talking everything God of War Ragnarok, at least as far as we know, um, regarding the story, gameplay, and everything else in between. So, um, really excited about that. And so, before we get into today's video, let me go to a previous Dylan talk in here and tell you about Rep Sports and Raise Energy. All right, let's take a quick break for a second. Let's, let me talk to you guys about Rep Sports and Raise Energy. As you guys know, I've been preaching huge about Raise Energy, it's my favorite energy drink. It is low in everything that's bad for you and high in everything that you need to get you throughout the day. And I have been, been enjoying the shit out of this product. And Rep Sports is not, doesn't only have energy drinks. They have pre-workout things. They have energy and focus, things that keep you wired for the whole day. They have weight loss powders. They have protein and food, things that help you when you're working out, building muscle, recovery and hydration, men's and women's apparel. They have t-shirts. They have bags. They have all kinds of things on this website, and not to mention, they always have good running deals. I want to show you guys that uh, really fast. Um, as of the recording of this video, they have buy any capsule product, get free Recub 7. Uh, some really good stuff to use for after you work out to give you that extra boosted energy. Get two capsule products, get free Recub 7 Hypersleep. Hypersleep helping you sleep during the night. If you're like me, I do not sleep well, and this Hypersleep has been knocking me the hell out. So if you do not get good sleep, I definitely recommend this stuff. And what's great about this, any of this stuff, you can get 15% more off of your final order after using our discount code DEADHEAD96. And you'll get an even bigger discount with anything else you put in the cart. So remember, go to repsports.com. I will put the link in the description, repsports.com. And at checkout, put in our discount code DEADHEAD96 to get 15% off your entire order. And that'll give you one hell of a discount with the deal that's already going on on the website as right now. So with that being said, after you watch this video, go to repsports.com and pick you up some great merch and you will not regret it. With that being said, let's get back to what that dumbass was talking about. So as past Dylan was saying, use our discount code DEADHEAD96 and you get 15% off your entire order and you will not regret it. So with that being said, let's talk about God of War, Ragnarok. So I don't. I'm not scripted here. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to to dog shit on the game. I'm not here to to suck its dick either. I just really want to talk about some things that I personally would like to see done better. Some some new things here and there. But most of the time, it really, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like I, for one, think this game is damn near perfect in every way, shape, and form. Um, I mean, I would say my. You know, if you want to start off with a negative, I would say that the enemy variety in this game is not great. And that's one of the things that I hope is better in God of War Ragnarok. Now, from what I can tell, I haven't watched a whole lot of gameplay on it besides the few um, 
the few gameplay reveals that PlayStation has released and Santa Monica have, have put out there. And it does seem like we're fighting a variety of different creatures and monsters. And that's really, really cool. It's really, really nice. It keeps the gameplay fun when I'm not fighting the same thing over and over again. I felt like in 2018, I fought the same troll. He might have been like a different color, but I fought the same troll at least half a dozen times. And then I fought the same looking creatures all the time. I think the coolest one was when you get to fight some werewolves in that icy region where the giant is at. I can't remember what the giant's name was. Anyway, you had to go in and, and find this giant and it's like a snowy region. And like there's like these man, wolf or werewolves or whatever you want to call them. And those were kind of different. But other than that, it's essentially the same uh, types of enemies throughout the entire game. So I thought that'd be better. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the gameplay is solid, man. There's not too many things that I would change. I think that, um, I do see that the Blades of Chaos are used more for traversal. I think that's a different gameplay tactic that keeps it fresh. It keeps, uh, mobility, um, at a faster pace, it makes combat faster. And I think that's worth it. I think that's cool. You're, you're a god. You should move like one, right? Um, but my thing is like, dude, I love the Leviathan Axe. Dude, Leviathan Axe is the best gameplay mechanic in any game in, in recent memory to me. I think the axe is so cool. I love I love the, the mule near essence of it where you can throw the axe and it'll come back to you. And I just, that never gets old. I mean, I've, I've been through the game like three times now and using that axe is so much fun. So much fun. And I really hope that they add some dual sense for us PS5 owners out there. I really hope they add some dual sense capabilities to that axe because that would be really, really cool. I, you know, while I'm on that subject, I'm not really a fan that this game is coming out for PS4, you, uh, for the PS4 community. And I, I feel for you guys that do not have a PS5. I'm not going to sit here and bash you guys for it. I know some people can't afford it. I know a lot of people can't even find one. So... I'm, ne I'm never going to bash somebody for not having the newest shit because I've been there. I've been there where I couldn't afford it. And I also understand it's really, really hard to find them. I mean, you have to be, um, you got to be lucky to get one. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. But I think it's a mistake it coming out on PS4 and last-gen consoles. My, my opinion is, and, and the same goes with Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 comes out in March, and it's coming out for PS4 and PS5. And it's like, no. No, why? You know what I mean? To me, games are never going to get to the potential they need to be to you leave these old ass consoles behind. And I'm sorry. If that's all you guys have, I, I'm sorry. I feel for you. I can already hear that some asshole. Oh, yeah, it's you say you got you got the newest shit. Well, yeah, I do have the newest shit. But if I just had a PS4, if I just had an Xbox One, and I let's say if I was really, really like in a bad spot and I had the original PS4 and the original Xbox One that runs at like 720p. I would just have to eat shit and die. I mean, it's, that's just, I mean, <laughs> that's, that sounds bad. But what I'm saying is, is that I would understand that my current console is holding games back. It just is. These weak-ass consoles can't take these games that they're trying to make. And I think God of War Ragnarok would have benefited from a, from a next-gen-only release, in my opinion. I think it would have done better. I think they've even come out and said that they've, you know, a lot of the things, see, this, at, the, at heart, this game is a PS4 game. It just, it's, it's up PS5, upscaled. So, like, people who have PS5s, they'll get the upscaled version. They'll get the best version, the best way to play. But at the end of the day, it's a PS4 title because they were keeping in mind the PS4 owners when they made this game. And that, man, that, that holds it back, dude. In my opinion, it holds it back. I think the game's going to be phenomenal. Let's just be honest. It's going to be, it's going to be badass. It's going to be great. But let's be honest, think about how great it would have been if it was just next gen only. But uh, but yeah, you know, I, I don't really, you know, I don't really have much I would really change about the game. You know, I, I just hope that they don't do anything stupid with the story. You know, I'd like, I want to see that growth between Kratos and Atreus, uh, you know, improve. I want to see them really depend on each other in this one. I hope that maybe they're in a spot where Kratos has really accepted the responsibility of being a father because I know he's struggling with that. In the first game, um, I don't know the the threat in this game is going to be higher than ever because one, you got Ragnarok looming, but also two, uh, you pissed off a lot of gods uh, with the events of the last game. So I know there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there, and it's very intriguing to see where everybody's at with Freya and with Odin and with Thor, right? If you see the well, the at the end the end credit scene that 
Sorry, anyway, if you've seen that weird cut. Anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, you see Thor at the at the end credits, and it really leaves the door open for a, like huge potential. So um, I know it's inevitable we're gonna see Kratos versus Thor, um, but I got a feeling it's gonna be a little bit different. I feel like that their their relationship is gonna be a little bit more different than what we think. I, you know, I, I, you think that it's gonna be just a um, a straight up just brawl between Kratos and Thor the entire game, but I think it's gonna be a little bit deeper than that, and I'm. I'm excited. I'm intrigued to see where the story is is going. So, um, but yeah, I mean, dude, every everything else is is almost phenomenal. You know, exploration was great in 2018. So I I don't I don't think we'll get any less than that. I think and I think we'll see just as much exploration, if not more, in Ragnarok. And I think all in all, man, we're gonna get a solid solid sequel to 2018. And I'm hearing a lot of people who are playing it already. That it surpasses the original in every way. That's exciting because I think the original was perfect. So if it surpasses the 2018 in every single way, I think we're in for a real treat. I mean, we, I think we really are. So anyway, um, that's really all I got for you. I know it sounds like I'm rambling on. I just wanted to put a video out there uh, really before the release of God of War Ragnarok and really just get you guys hyped for it. Um, like Just to recap, if exploration is just as good, if not better than 2018, I'm fine with it. Uh, I hope combat is a little bit more complex. Um, not that it isn't already in 2018, but man, think about all the the combos and shit you should be able to to land with with uh, with your Blades of Chaos and Leviathan Axe. And then I think, and by the way, this is a spoiler. I think we should at one point get Mjolnir. The reason why I say that is Ryan Hurst. He did the unboxing of the Jotnar edition uh, a few months back, and in in there is a replica of Mjolnir. And on Mjolnir, it has spots for runes. So I'm assuming you'll be able to carry that at some point. I don't know, either as Kratos or as Atreus. Um, either way, it's going to be sick. I hope it's Kratos. I hope you got the Leviathan Axe in one hand and then Mjolnir in the other. Think about how nasty your combos would be. Dude, think about how nasty that would be. That'd be absolutely disgusting. So, um, so yeah, the potential is out there, brother. It, it really is. And I, and brother, and, and I cannot wait for it. So, let us know what you think down in the comments and be looking out for their newest episode of the Deadhead Podcast where we talk about our first thoughts on the uh, the first five to ten hours of God of War Ragnarok. And uh, be expecting more videos. We will definitely be doing more content with this game um, after releases. And, and as we, we see the story, we meet new characters, um, we will definitely be doing more videos on it. Um, and, you know, we might not go overboard, but we'll definitely, there will be a review on it. When I currently finish it, I don't know what Jan's plans are. I know he's trying to upload some stuff soon, too, as well. So maybe he'll do his own little review. But, um, yeah, we're really excited about this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you'll be along for the ride. Uh, don't forget to like and sub to the channel. We really appreciate it. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.